guys welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm smiley with two wise and the two is for too much and if you're not new then you already know what's up today in this video i will be showing y'all oh my gosh look at that y'all this is not dandruff this is dried up gel as i was saying in this video today you will be coming along with me to tackle that that good old closet like i want to say i'm not a hoarder but i am a hoarder when it comes to clothes because you never know when you gonna need some or whatever case may be but as of right now that's besides the point if you would like to see me transform my closet then stay tuned and i hope you enjoyed the video if you do like the video at any point in the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below if y'all can give me any tips on how i could possibly try to maximize my closet space even more if i need it so let's get into this video disclaimer y'all y'all about to see me with the tools get a full honey run go it's like nah 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 but nah for real y'all will be seeing me use some type of tools power tools i guess i'm not a carpenter but my uncle is so y'all will see me using some of his tools to try to do what I'm about to do. And let me tell y'all something. Let me get a little close. I possibly don't know what I'm doing, but we gonna fake it till we make it. We got packages. And this is a part of the problem. And so I ordered some stuff from Amazon. It's real quick. I can do a little unboxing. Take it out the box. Anyway, welcome to MTP Closets. Let's follow me. Follow me, don't follow me. Let's go. Done. That ain't work. So first thing first, what I'm going to do is pretty much what I'm about to do is try to make room so I can open up my closet door. Let's get into that. Take a peek into my closet. This is my closet, like, this is what we're working with. Now, the problem is not that I have a whole bunch of stuff, even though that might be the problem, but we're not gonna let that be the problem. We're gonna say the closet is the problem. I got me some pine wood and I'm going to make two shelves at the top, hopefully. I feel like my problem is the fact that my hanging rack isn't high enough. That's why it looks so cluttered at the bottom because I have a lot of shoes. Like I still have more shoes in the closet, but it's all under there. Y'all gonna see it in a little bit. What I'm about to do is just go ahead and take my stuff out of there. So then we can get this on the road. So let's go. I know somebody was just probably thinking like, oh, if she's kind of short, so if she could barely reach that, how is she going to reach the shelves if it's higher? That's why they made stools. And it's not that I have a lot of jeans. A lot of jeans have me. Period. If you're one of those people who can actually wash your clothes and then fold them up and put them away right then and there, congratulations. But if you're one of those people who wash clothes and then just live out of your clean clothes basket, you understand me, period. Why isn't my fan on? Okay, so now everything is now out of the closet and these right here are all of my shoes and this one on the floor. If you would like to see a shoe haul for me, comment that down below and I will give it to y'all. Let me show y'all how big my closet actually is. So this is the size of my closet and it has these shelves right here on the side. But like I said, it's a standard 
closet. So if you have a regular room closet, like type of closet, then yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is go ahead and remove the screws. Well, this whole hanging rack, I'm going to remove that from the closet, obviously. I walked in and I stood like that because I don't know which screw to take a loose first. So if y'all, like, I'm not going to be cutting out nothing. Like, if I get hurt, y'all going to see me get hurt. So I never did this before. But let's get into it. <laughs> Oh, I'm pressed. I really just did it on my own. Three hours later. I'm about 30 now, but we got it done. Period. The length of my closet is 50 inches long, so that's how long I'm gonna need each shelf to be. And hopefully, my plan is to have two shelves. Let's go cut this wood. Bing bong, nigga. Get life. Okay, so now I have it all marked out. This is my wood. This is my shirt. I'm dirty. I got dirty bands. Dirty money. Dirty weed. And my shirt dirty too. Swipey. When we hooked up, sat down, made an agreement about that, that we'd always be together, do whatever. So as y'all were able to see, my uncle did go ahead and cut my wood for me, thank God, because I was like in the process of him doing that, I was having anxiety because I'm clumsy and I couldn't do that. Go check him out on Instagram because he is a carpenter and he do create a whole lot of, you know, unique things or just your everyday thing. And he also build things for other people. So of course you can always go check out his page. And if you see something you like, or you know something that you want built, then hit him up. As y'all can see, this is wood. The wood is ashy. So if y'all see my shirt getting ashy, I'm not about to keep wiping it off. Like, it's fresh wood, okay? Put the pencil on your ear. That's where it goes when you work with pencils. just scared me like i'm trying to move forward but that just scared me because i could have fell off the little stool i could have let's continue <laughs> y'all if you can have somebody help y'all do this don't be like me like or be like me whatever you choose now i'm going to take my brackets that i got from walmart this is Hyper tough, heavy duty self bracket. And this is what I'm gonna be using to put the wood on. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my hole um, for these on the wall and then I'm gonna start screwing them into the wall.
early the next morning. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else can make you do. That's why I'm fine. Spend my life with you. I want to please you in any way I can. I want to share my world. Don't you understand? Right here, this is what y'all see me using to do that. If y'all haven't seen it, I'm gonna, if y'all haven't seen it, it allows your clothes to go from this to this, period. But y'all see I got too many clothes and like I said, I have the standard closet. So I seen these on Amazon and it allows me to hang up more stuff, so. Like that's real life cool and it still don't hang too low. So um, this is what they look like. I'm going to leave these in the description box below. So if you want to try this, I highly recommend it. A lot of people who were leaving reviews on them were saying that these work best with the velvet hangers, the ones that's like non-slip hangers. Um, and they probably do, but I have endless hangers and I'm not about to go buy endless more. They're working for me. So, if you want to, then cool, go do that. If you don't, then use your regular hangers and make it do. But for me, like, they only have two holes right here. Y'all can see this. They only have two holes, but I put three on here. I put three. So, and I have stuff in regards to, like, this one right here is lighter. So I have like all of my crop tops, you know, little shirts, little, you know, small little shirts. Then I have, I got OCD, so I color coordinate my stuff. And that's where all of my t-shirts and everything come in, same for these. So that's pretty much how I'm doing it. And now I'm going to use this one for my flannel. So that's how it looks once you hang it up. Those are my clothes for right now. I have more stuff that's on my bed, but some of the stuff I still have to do a haul for, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to put that in there. But now we're going to do the most important thing, which was making space for my shoe. The point of me raising up my uh, hanging bar was so that I can have enough space underneath my clothes to put my shoes without them touching. Like, I don't like that. So let's see if it works. <laughs> Tell me inside out, I'll make my heart. 
heart speed Be no one else You're all I need Personality No it's not No it's not phones in a box It's these <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I am now done with my closet, and as y'all just seen, I was putting my hats up, or whatever the case may have been. After this, I want to clean up my room, but that's not what y'all here for. Y'all here to see how I transform my closet. So, let me show y'all. Here, I have my hats hanging on this hanger. I got this from the dollar store, so I don't know if they still sell those, but yeah, that's where I got them. Check out the dollar store, y'all. So overall, we did do it. Well, y'all yeah, watched I work, but I was able to achieve the main mission of this was to be able to put everything I needed in there neatly and still have space underneath for my shoes. And I was able to do that. So thanks for tuning into this video. If you aren't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to like it like it like actually like it don't just like it with your heart and your mind like it with your fingers you feel me let me know that you liked it of course comment down below any part in the video where you feel like uh, i could possibly do something a little bit differently or comment down your favorite technique or whatever i did i will be responding to y'all if you got a standard closet then comment that down below or if you know somebody that got a standard closet then share this video with them especially if you know that they need some space. But thanks for tuning into my video. I will catch you in my next one.